shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And today I'm out here on my 21 Honda Gold Wing Sport. <laughs> Man, I tell you, it's good to be out on the gold wing. I've had this bike for several weeks, and I promise you, it's been in the garage for the last three weeks. I only have about 742 miles on this new Gold Wing. I've been adding accessories. I've been adding upgrades, trying to get the bike at least comfortable enough for me to ride. I know a lot of you have been commenting and saying that, well, Chris, you're doing a lot of upgrades to the bike to just be running around. And you are correct. But I want to get into field goal position in case I want to take the bike on a long trip, in case I want to stretch the bike out. You never know. So I must make the bike comfortable. And I've been adding some upgrades. I've been adding lots of accessories. I still have a lot of accessories to put on the bike. I hope you guys have been keeping up with my videos. I hope you guys have been watching my upgrades on the new Gold Wing. Maybe giving you guys some ideas that you might want to do to your bike. So today I'm out here cruising the mean streets of Memphis. The mean streets of Memphis. Coming up on Norris Road, exit 26. So hopefully you guys have been watching the video. I know a lot of you have been calling and thanking me for the videos that I've been putting up on my upgrades. I know some of you have been really excited and just saying, hey, Chris, I can't wait for you to put up the next video because I have the exact same bike. You, you're giving me some ideas on some things that I need to do to my bike. So I appreciate it. So thank all, I thank all of my viewers and subscribers that have been keeping up with the channel. So be sure to smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. So... One of the things that I added to the bike was the new F4 custom windshield because if you guys have been keeping up, I when I bought this bike, I was saying how much wind that was hitting me. I was complaining about the seat. And so I had to do some things to try to make the bike better. So I called F4. I said, send me the biggest windshield that you guys make for this new Gold Wing. And look at that, man. Look at that big windshield. So it does offer a lot of protection. I will be giving you guys my later thoughts about this F4, but I'm here to tell you that I think it's, it's going to be great. I have the exact same, uh, not the exact same, but on my 2016, I have the F4 custom windshield on that, uh, on that bike as well. So I added the F4, and I, I'm not getting all that wind. I am getting getting some wind, but I'm not getting as much wind that I was getting when I didn't have the F4 because that stock windshield is kind of small. I noticed since I've added the big windshield that I get more buffeting, I get more wind buffeting uh, on my lower half. So I do feel a lot of wind on my lower half, but with the new F4, it does offer a lot of wind protection better than the OEM wind protection. So I'm just out here cruising. And also I added that Utopia backrest. Man, you know, if you guys watch my video, I took a 200 mile trip and I was so uncomfortable on the seat. So I added the Utopia backrest. So between the Utopia backrest and the F4 custom windshield, and I also added the Gold Strike highway pegs. I added the Gold Strike highway pegs. So between all of those, accessories i think that is going to make the ride more enjoyable now time will tell i'll be doing a later video letting you guys know what i think about this uh this backrest hopefully the seat would have broken in by that time 
maybe maybe not you don't want to have to go into buying a new seat after spending a boatload of money on the bike you, you would think all of that would be included but it's not so i added the backrest i added the three-way adjustable gold strike highway pegs and hopefully that's going to make it more comfortable and if it all works out i will be able to take this bike on longer trips now like i said i bought this bike to run around but there's nothing in the rules that says that i can't make the bike or bring the bike up to my standards so let this car on by you gotta watch you gotta when, when you're out here on these bikes you gotta watch behind you and in front of you everybody's in a hurry to go nowhere so i'm gonna let this guy on by So when you're out here riding, you want to keep your head on the swivel. And that's one of the reasons why I added the big blind spot mirrors. I know some of you had asked about my mirrors. Well, those are blind spot mirrors that I added to the gold wing. Anytime I'm on my gold wing, I want to be able to see all around me. So with these blind spot mirrors, this allows me to change lanes with, without having to look over my shoulder. You know, you don't want to have to look. You're losing valuable seconds just looking over your shoulder but if you have blind spot mirrors you just look in your mirrors it's kind of like a truck driver and i drove trucks professionally and a lot of you truck drivers out there can agree with me when you change lanes you use your mirror there's no rear view mirror in a big truck there's no rear view mirror so you, when you back up or when you change lanes you use your mirrors so that's why i use these blind spot mirrors that i put on my gold wing it makes the uh ride experience more enjoyable i don't have to be looking over my shoulder looking over my looking behind me i can just look at my blind spot mirror uh keep in mind i'm talking to you on my center 50. i'm on my center 50. i'm wearing my hjc is max 2 helmet with the center 50. one of the upgrades that i uh, put on the bike is the gold strike grips you guys know i complained about that fine vibration inside of the right grip you know I, I complained about it and said man you know with that fine vibration that'll make your hand go numb so i added these black uh shiny gold strike grips and i'm hoping that that makes it a little bit better it does kind of damper that vibration a little bit um so i'm hoping that I get good results from the grips that I installed on my gold wing. And anytime you're riding on the side of trucks, you want to get past them. You don't want to be hanging out on the side of trucks, especially on his right side, because you know it's harder to, it's harder for a truck to see on his right side than it is his driver's side. So keep that in mind. Don't hang out on the side of trucks. I'm sure the truck drivers out there can appreciate me saying that, because a lot of people that watch my videos are actually truck drivers. A lot of them that watch my videos are actually out uh, driving, uh, they're, they're working. So they watch my videos in their downtime or when they're on the highway. So keep in mind, you don't wanna hang out in what we call the no zone. Don't hang out in the no zone. Either you stay behind the big truck or get out in front of them, but don't hang out on this right or left unless you don't have no other option, especially on the right side. That's his most blind spot. But I'm out here in Memphis cruising on my 2100 gold wing talking to you on my center just out here testing it out got everything hooked up man uh got the voltage gauge i know some of you uh had been inquiring about my battery like well hey chris what happened you know what what, what was going on with your battery you know what happened uh, all i know is i went to start the bike and the bike didn't start up uh the bike had volts but it didn't have enough amps so for some reason or another it just didn't start so i added the uh two-way connector or the quick disconnect on the side of the battery and i plugged in my battery maintainer and so far i haven't had any more issues since then so i figured that the battery was probably not fully charged but i like this f4 so far man i think it's i think it's great i think it's gonna uh i think it's gonna work out f4 make great products so y'all stay tuned to my video and i will be putting up links to 
the accessories that I've added to my gold wing and also I will put up more videos on my installation on the gold wing I had an incident where I actually tipped over the camera and I think it actually changed the settings accidentally I went back to play some of the video and the resolution was very low so I don't know what happened I checked the settings and for some reason it changed resolution so when I post up a couple of these videos if the resolution is not good if the resolution is not real clear just note that the camera had some issues but I've corrected the problem I, I hate to scrap the footage so I'm I didn't get that could you try again keep in mind that the center is always listening the center is I'm not sure I understand so even though I turned it off for some reason it's still listening so I'm out here cruising I'll be doing some later videos giving you guys my honest review of this new 21 Honda Gold Wing I also will be doing some comparison to the 2016 letting you guys know what I think about it just checking out making sure everything is still on so keep your head on a swivel regardless of where you're traveling always keep your eyes in the back of your head pay attention to all of your surroundings you never know while some of us go to work to work hard all day others are scheming to take what you have been working for so keep your head on a swivel regardless of where you live and that's my tip of the day so I'm out here just rambling on my gold wing. I'm just so glad I got the bike off of the rack. Man, I've had it on the rack for, it seems like a month. Might have been three weeks. I wasn't keeping track, but anytime you're doing wiring, anytime you're wiring up a bike, that takes a lot of time. You know, a lot of times people will see my gold wing and say, man, I love what you did with your lights. Can you do my bike? Can you put the lights on my bike? I like, I want to get the same setup you have. The only problem is that with this, when you're running electrical wiring, it takes a lot of time. This is why a lot of shops charge $100 an hour because it just takes so much time when you're doing wiring. When Honda or any motorcycle manufacturer made these motorcycles, they didn't leave you a lot of space. So just keep in mind that the shops will charge you a hefty fee for putting on lights because it takes it takes a long period of time. When you're talking about adding lights to a bike, man, it I've spent countless hours wiring this gold wing, making sure every connection is tight, making sure every connection is connected properly. The last thing you want to do is put put your bike back together and something is not working properly you want it working perfectly you know I'm subject to take this bike out for a long long ride and I want everything working properly if I reach over and I want to turn on my auxiliary lights I want the auxiliary lights to work you know, if I reach over and I want to turn on my LED lights I want my LED lights to work so it takes a lot of time to do it right and when it comes to these accessories Man, I tell you what, companies like Gold Strike and Karaokin, they charge dearly for these accessories. So I try to save money myself by doing the work myself. And I just take my time. So between working a lot of hours and only having a limited amount of time to work on the bike, to make the videos, it takes a lot of time. That's one of the reasons why you guys haven't been seeing me doing a lot of ride videos I've had the bike up on the rack wiring the bike so just keep in mind that it takes it takes a lot to wire the bike so a lot of times I try to give you guys tips on how you can do things yourself to save yourself some money so I said all of that to say this when it comes to wiring somebody's bike it is time consuming it is very tedious you know it is very it's, it's a slow process and, and a lot of these shops, like I said, they'll charge you $100 an hour to do electrical. You know, I, I understand why Max McAllister would probably charge the fees he charged 
because it just takes a lot to wire these bikes up and to add the accessories so when it comes to adding accessories when it comes to adding wiring i just don't particularly care to work on other people's bike i will every now and then if i had a shop it would be totally different because now you know i'm there for the customers but that is not the case at this point uh maybe that will change later i will keep you guys posted if any of that change but i know some of you have been requesting uh, asking if i can wire up your bike and who knows i don't know you know we'll see we'll see sometimes you can make a plan and god will laugh and say well that's your plan now i'm gonna tell you here's my plan so i'm just out here rambling on the go wing out here on i-40 out here on i-40 well anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this video if you guys have any questions or any comments put it down in the comment section below if you like this video click that like button also click that bell notification it will notify you every time i post a new video well anyway this is your boy chris out on the gold wing out on the gold wing sport in my opinion and i will as always i will talk to you guys later see you